It's time to kill some files in Excel. And believe it or not, it's actually really quite easy to do. Just one tiny little word and one tiny little file path and extension. And here I'm going to show you how to delete a single file, multiple files, files that meet a certain pattern, and also how to safely delete files. So make sure they exist before you try and delete them. And this tutorial is a much tinier pared down version of the full big boy that's in my VBA course. And let's go to the VBA window and get started with this guy, Alt F11. Here you're going to see part of the file that's in the full VBA course, heavily commented so that you always have a good reference file for everything I say in the entire tutorial. That way you're never left behind, you're never lost, and you've got a great guide for doing everything without having to rewatch the entire tutorial. But here we are not going to have all these notes and it's not going to be in the downloadable file either. That is for the premium course members. And if you want to take that course, I've got a link to it below this video. It's really going to help save you hours of time in Excel. But now uh, let's get started programming. We are going to call this one kill files, this macro, this procedure, this sub. What are we going to do here? We're going to delete files. And what's the most important thing that you need to remember when you delete files? They do not go to the recycle bin. So it seems really nice and easy. All we have to do is type kill and then give it a path name. The full qualified path name. So we are going to go test and delete. Use a sample file directory for this because you can accidentally delete everything. So let's give it a full name, XLSX. This is the easiest and perhaps the best and certainly the safest way to delete a file. Kill with the full file name path and extension. And if we go here right now, we can see that we have a test1.xlsx file. So if I go over here, hit play, it is gone. And it's really as easy as that to delete a file. But there are some things to watch out for. So let's go over those now. First of all, I already mentioned they're always going to be deleted forever when you do this. Yes, you can use some data recovery tools to get them back, but that's a real pain. So be careful when you delete your files. Hidden files, they cannot be deleted. This right here is not case sensitive. So if we have, let's go for test2 with a capital T, I can make that a tiny t and a 2, or run it, it's still going to be deleted. This method also can delete any file, not just an Excel file. So we could delete these text files just by going like this, test2.txt. So the extension is different, but it doesn't matter. We hit play go back and it's gone. And if you want to view the file extensions in Windows 10, you can go to a view and check file name extensions. And we can see XLSM, TXT, SLSX, and that's how you can get the full name file path and extension. Now let's get into how to delete patterns. So we are going to keep this guy right here and let's go for a new one. What if you only want to delete all of the files that begin with test? Well, down here, write test and then asterisk and nothing after it. That's going to find every file that begins with this and it doesn't care whatever comes after it. That's what the asterisk means. I don't care what comes after it. It could be one thing, two things, a hundred things, no things. I want to delete everything that begins with test. So here, that would be all of these files. But uh, let's not delete all of our files right now. I'm going to copy this one. Let's make this test one. So these two will be deleted once we go like this. Test one. There we go. Click away, play. And the test ones are gone. But where this can really come in handy is, let's say that you have a bunch of file names with certain dates, and we use a format like this, year, month, and day, and you want to delete everything from August 2022. Well, what we can do is to take uh, this guy 
and we can go asterisk 20, 22, 0, 8, asterisk. So that means, hey, I don't care what's up here. I don't care what's back here. All I care about is that you find me a file that has this inside of it. Inside, at the start, at the end, I don't care. Just find it and kill it. And it should kill for us this file and this file. So we hit play, and there we go. With the asterisk, you have to be really, really careful because you can do some damage. So let me show you one thing right now that can be really helpful. Or actually, before we get to this, let me show you the other wildcard character. Okay, so we have the asterisk, but we also have the question mark. And the question mark says, hey, I want you to match any specific character. I don't care what it is, but it has to be one character. So for here, let's just make this test four. And let's go down here and say test question mark. Now it's going to match test and then any specific single character. In this case, that should not actually delete anything. So we have four files, go down here, play, File not found. We're going to fix that error in just a moment. Don't worry about it. Now, why wasn't the file found? Because this does not just have one character after it. Remember, the file extension counts. It has, after test four, it has, or after test, it has four dot xlsx. So that's four, five, six characters. So if you want to do it like this, you would do dot xlsx. We hit play, and uh, that guy is gone. So the question mark can be a little bit more tricky to deal with, but still quite helpful. And now let's go back to the asterisk and dealings and deleting certain file extensions. And uh, let's say that we want to delete all of the macro enabled files. How do we do uh, that? Well, we can use an asterisk combined with .xlsm which says, hey, I want to kill everything that ends with .xlsm, don't care what comes before that. And here for us, it's going to delete this and this. So we can go here and hit play, and it's gone. But that is a very, very dangerous command. I do not want you to ever do that, because you're going to do that, and then you're going to get comfortable with life. And then you're going to do that with an XLSX file. And then you're going to say, hey, you know what? I want to delete all of the XLS files. And you're going to have some trouble. So let's run through that real quick. I will get my backup files, copy these, go back, paste them in. Yes, replace the file. And we already did the XLSM files. Let's go for the XLSX files now. XLSX run that and they're gone the other guys seem to be happy how about the txt files txt run that they're gone all right everything seems good right but let's see what happens now go back here and let's go for deleting all of the old Excel files that we don't want XLS and you might not use it like this you might use it like this test asterisk dot xls but you're still going to run into this issue so we have no xls files up here <laughs> just m and x we hit play and look what happened <laughs> oh my gosh vba i love you microsoft i love you you have cost so many people so much hair <laughs> Now, I cover this issue in a lot more depth in my full VBA course. I've got a lot of notes on it, and at the end of this tutorial in that course, I show you a very nice way to be very safe and ensure that you only delete XLS files when that is your intention. It is more involved. I'm not going to include it in this tutorial. We don't even use the kill command for that, although there's a way that you could do that as well that's pretty involved. But 
That's why I do not want you to blanket delete extensions like this. The safest way to do this is to give it the full file name, path, and extension. Be very, very careful if you're going to use wildcard characters. But now that I've said be careful, why don't we go ahead and just empty out this entire directory. That's a really easy one, straightforward, no unexpected behaviors. And all you do for that, go to the directory that you care about, put an asterisk, and nothing else. And let's get some more files. So all of these, except for this and this. Or run it. Everything gone. But nothing in the directories inside of that directory will be deleted. It is not recursive. So, well, I don't know why I went away. Let's go copy that, bring it back. Okay, good, good. And come back here. Now, that is the basics of killing your files. But I'm going to show you a way to make sure that you don't get that nasty error if the file that you're trying to delete does not exist. So test5.xlsx, I run this, and nice little file not found error. But we don't want that. So let us prevent that error from happening. And in the downloadable file I provide you, this code right here will be in a separate procedure, a separate macro with a few comments, so it'll be a little bit easier to follow. But here, let's just put it all right here. dim file path as string. We will grab this string, file path, control space to fill that in, equals uh, that. And let's remove that. And I'm gonna center it on screen, okay. A little if check is all we need. If a len, which is a length, if the length of the dir function result for file path, there we go, is greater than zero than and if. This right here is going to return an empty string if the file is hidden or does not exist. If it finds the file, it's going to return a string, and we just count how many characters it has returned. If it is greater than zero, it has returned a string, we can safely assume the file exists, so then we can go ahead and kill that file, just like this. So now when we try to run this, nothing is going to happen, but we also don't get an error. So all of these files are safe. Let's go ahead and make it test two and remove that guy, run, and he's gone. And that's all there is to using the kill command in Excel. <laughs> Such a harsh name, but really it needs that harsh name so that you don't forget that these files are not now in the recycle bin. They are gone. They are dead. The only way to get them back is to download a program, some sort of forensic file program. It's actually not that difficult, but it requires some effort. Download the program and then retrieve a deleted file. So be very, very careful with this. And if you're using wildcard characters, be very careful with the XLS extension. Just don't use it. That's what I'd recommend. I always recommend going for the full file path name and extension like this. And in my full VBA course, I also show you a more involved way to safely delete a file. A little bit more interesting than this right here. It's a self-contained function. And then you just feed it this or you feed it a list of files and it will check them and then safely delete them. So there's really a lot of interesting stuff in my full VBA course. These tutorials here just scratch the surface because there's so much stuff to cover. But this is going to get you started with killing your files. And if you'd like to learn more, check out my full VBA course, and I'll put a link to it below this video. But for this tutorial, that's all there is.